What's going on everyone? Boss here again. This time we're here for Delicious in Dungeon episode 5. Last time we we started with the story of, you know, Senshi growing <laughs> vegetables in in the backs of golems. You know, a little disturbing, but hey, it made sense. That actually was the one that made sense to me of all the things they eaten that, you know. I was like, all right, I can understand it. It's just like a, it's not like a living thing actually, right? It's just moving dirt. <laughs> well, to me, to me, that's what it seemed like. So, I'm with. That. I'm okay with that. And then, um, also in that, in that episode, we had, uh, you know, a situation where we tried to go sell the vegetables and stuff, or trade. But uh, there was a type by orcs. They killed all the people, by the way. Which I guess I don't know if there's gonna be some big penalty for that. But apparently, they do it all the time. And it's just a, a, a kind of a war going on with the people that live underground and then the people that live above ground. Um, but yeah, there was that. But um, we were able to do the power of bread. We were able to <laughs> kind of cool cool the, um, the heated waters and kind of get everybody sort of, sort of the same page. Um, we also learned last episode that I guess, or maybe they, they, there was a little monologue at the beginning of episode one. I don't remember if it was said specifically, but I guess if you conquer the dungeon, you get to be king of the castle in the dungeon. So um, Laius was like, oh, I think about what to do in that situation because I never thought about it before. Um, so, you know, that's going to be interesting to see. And they still got to save his sister from the dragon. Five episodes in, she's still there. And uh, hopefully she's not going anywhere <laughs> anytime soon. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump this episode. Oh, we got actual food. Actual people eating. New character, too. New characters. I uh, don't know the joys of cooking monsters. Oh, it's a fairly new party? Okay. Oh, the younglings. I've, I've promised for the future. Oh, he's like, yo, I'm a man of action. He's gonna run into our, our group of people. Unless there's some kind of joke coming. Oh yeah, horror story. Oh, all right. Oh yeah, you don't end up like that, huh? Yeah, smart. Be careful. Don't push it. Is it valuable? Hey! Okay, hidden treasures. Yeah, return to town, spend money. Splurge. Oh, okay. So we're back with our party. Oh, they died? Oh, wow. Corpse Retriever. Dang, what happened to them, bro? Oh, that's what put him to sleep. Oh, the sword helps. So it's like a living sword. Oh, there it is. Okay, the sword came into play. Yo, living jewelry? Oh no! Yeah, she's done. Oh, yeah, she faded away. <laughs> she blew everything up. Oh, she's dang. Oh, there's one on your shoulder. <laughs> it's 
Treasure bugs. I did not know that was a thing in like fantasy shows. Oh, it's helpful. It's like a monster detector. You gonna eat him? He'll figure out a way. Yo, this man's a machine. Ah, we getting bugs this episode. Here we go. Oh my goodness. It's like they're cooking money. <laughs> oh, Salt Bay. Oh, those are eggs? Oh no. Oh my goodness, this is. <laughs> okay, natural and tasty treasure bug snacks. Oh, oh, it's good. Yeah, monsters in the dungeon taste better than outside? Okay. Yo, eat it, eat it, eat it. That's kind of squishy for my tooth squishy sounding. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, this is better the lower you go to? Yeah, I can't eat some of that stats. I guess grease is like that, but it looks slimy. You gonna feed it? They're going to be suspect of you too soon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, they're worth money. They're worth money. Oh my goodness. Yo. This guy. Misu, in, nah, bro. He named it starts to name Blade now. So are those, are those other people like really dead for real? Uh oh, you're gonna keep it up your guard. Oh, those are ghosts? Mm -mm. Ah, she used to handle that kind of stuff. Oh, no, that's ominous. Don't go back for it. You don't stop your foolishness. Yeah, that's what you get. Yo, frozen cold embrace. Oh, Falin was nice like that. Okay, we see her in action. Oh, uh, what is the other two that left the party? Oh, yeah, <laughs> nice girl. Oh, a hug? Okay. Are her eyes open for this part, too? Dang. She hugged the ghost out of him. Do what were her magic? Oh yeah, make them explode, <laughs> explode with a, a gentle embrace. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, yo, you can't do that. Oh, 
He can make holy water? What are you, a priest? Are we going at lore? I can't imagine worshiping a beetle, bro. <laughs> Okay, he put in all the all the ingredients. I feel like he mixed a whole bunch of like religions together. Yeah, winging it. You know, this is gonna be a nasty concoction. This is holy water. All right, I feel like it's just gonna be like poison. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Your life flashing before your eyes? Your sister? Ooh. <laughs> that just came in. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Him just slinging it around like that. Who? Oh, majestic. Possessed by the idea of her. Yeah. I was cold too. It freezes uh, a little bit. There's a lot of ghosts. Don't eat it. He ate it. Ice cream? What? Exorcism ice cream. Holy water ice cream? That's gross, bro. No. Are you purified? <laughs> of course it's good. The ghost gave you a gift of ice cream. It's better off that she's gone. <laughs> Dang, even since she... Oh yeah, back to it, if only she were here right now. No, go get her. <laughs> Alright, so that was this episode of Dungeon Meishi. We had uh, we met these new adventurers. So I was like, okay, I don't think I'm gonna interact, interact with our party, but they end up dying, <laughs> which is pretty wild. Um, Cause it seemed like they're actually dead. Cause they were saying like corpse retrievers coming. These ghosts were going to uh, possess their bodies. You know, they had no like no exterior wounds. They, uh, I guess, those treasure bugs really did them in. So there's that. And even at the beginning of the episode, like, there was at the, the, the bar or whatever, and then the, the guy was like, yo, you kids, you kids can do it. And then the one girl in the party was like, yeah, yeah, we should, we should, we let them know. We'll show them, we'll show them. And, he, <laughs> and so, that was pretty crazy. But um, <laughs> we also, you know, got more, more about uh, Falling. You know, they talked about how she did this. She was good around the ghosts and the zombie stuff. And she was able to, like, help it so they don't get possessed and get the spirits to leave the possessed body with a, a nice warm embrace and you know so that was something that we we learned about her this episode and it was like oh, we're possessed by the idea of her she would make so much things easier and you know there was that and of course since she did some more madness with his cooking he cooked the treasure bugs and then he cooked the uh well he made holy water and then he got froze because of all the ghosts and they made ice cream and <laughs> that's that was excessive, bro. <laughs> don't eat that. That no, no, no. Out of all the things, even more more than the bugs, I feel like like water that's like can like mess with is is terrible for you. <laughs> even worse than stuff that might look nasty. Um, but apparently it was good, so I guess they'll be all right. And I'm wondering uh, what's next. And uh, what's next for for the, our group? How close are they to the? I don't remember if they mentioned how deep they have to go for the dragon, or if it's like the very bottom, or something else. But I was I'm wondering how close they are to the saving Fallen. Uh, but I guess we'll see as we go along. 
And then I guess we'll see if we meet other people that'll die. <laughs> and also, we did see um, the two members of the party that left before. I remember before they said members of the party did leave. So there was like a, a short red-haired dwarf lady and a, a samurai-looking guy. Uh, so I wonder when, when we'll get to seeing them. Um, if at all, I don't know. They're in the they're in the opening though, so I assume we are. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens next week. So until then.